how to fix a laptop that shuts down when the charger is plugged out. So if your laptop only works when the charger is plugged in, then there's actually a couple of things we can do to go and solve this issue. Now, the very first thing is just to go and open up your start menu, then search for device manager and click on the device manager window. Now click on the drop down arrow next to batteries and here you'll find two different battery adapters. Now we're just going to right click on each of these, click on update driver, and press search automatically for drivers. You can then do the same for this second one as well. Just click update driver and press search automatically for drivers. Now also as well, if you can't see your battery adapters in this list, you can always click on view and select show hidden devices and you should be able to find them from here. Now once you've done that, just right click on each of the adapters again and press update driver. And this time press browse my computer for drivers. Click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Click on the AC adapter and press next. And we're going to do the same for the second one as well. Click on update driver, browse my computer, let me pick from a list of available drivers, and then just select the AC adapter and press next. Now, once you've done that, you can close out of this window. We're then gonna open up the start menu, search for the word control panel and click on the control panel window. Make sure view by is set to large icons in the top right hand side and click on power options. Now underneath selected plan, you'll see the power plan that you're currently using. Click on change plan settings next to it and click on restore default settings for this plan. Then just press yes. Now you can try removing the charger from your laptop and checking if that solves your issue. If it's still not working, then click on change advanced power settings. Then scroll down to processor power management and expand this drop down. And then expand the drop down next to maximum processor state. And where it says on battery, we're going to reduce this down to 40 like so. And then just press apply and okay. Now, once you've done that, you can try restarting your computer and checking if that solves the issue. If it's still not working, the final solution is just to go and open up your start menu, search for CMD, and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Now in this window, you need to type in the following command. So that's power CFG space hyphen restore default schemes. So make sure to type it in exactly as you see it here. And once you've done that, you can once again, check if that's now fixed your battery issues. If it's still not working, it's likely that you need a battery replacement. If your battery is really old or your laptop's really old, then it's most likely the case that you'll need to go in and replace it. So let me know in the comments if you did find this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.